Hi, this is Amelia and Elizabeth, and we are with Elise from Amaranth. Thank you for taking this call with us today. We really appreciate it. Oh, thank you for calling me. I appreciate it. I'm very glad and honored. You don't want the video, right? It's just the audio. Yeah, just the audio. All right, cool. Awesome. <laughs> so how's everything <laughs> been going for you? It's going great. Uh, we are very excited. Um, being Amaranth at the moment because we are so, you know, honored to be able to do um, talks like uh, with you guys right now uh, about our new upcoming album. And we just went to uh, some trips uh, for for uh, interviews and we've been to Poland recording music videos. So it's so weird, like, you know, you know, you would think that you can't do anything at the moment because of the Corona crisis situation, but for us, things has been rolling kind kind of like planned, and uh, so we are staying very like stimulated. Uh, except that we're not allowed, uh, able to tour, but uh, like I said, at least we have other exciting things happening. That's awesome. That's good news for you guys. Yes, I know that a lot of bands has been extremely depressed and they can't do anything, you know. So so yeah, we're taking all these kind of um, moments and to and really appreciate appreciate them a little extra and how are you guys by the way we are good thanks for asking yeah everything's yeah? good yeah cool <laughs> so what did you do in poland can you tell us more about that yeah we recorded first of all we recorded the um, video for archangel uh, not so long ago i think it was last a month ago <laughs> and it's already out it came out uh, three days ago i don't know if you guys seen it yet uh, but it's the third single for our manifest album. And then now we went again to record two new videos. And one of them is going to come out uh, on the uh, release date, which is uh, October 2nd. And we also took the opportunity to record a third video, which hasn't, uh, um, we don't have a plan when we're going to release it yet. But we felt like we need to have it, you know, uh, in the on hold so we have something fun to put out when it starts to get cold and dark here in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I'm sure everyone can't wait to see those. Yeah, we hope they're going to like it. It was extremely fun uh, to to see the band again and like play around in front of the camera. It's always a great time. <laughs> Can you but get... on the other hand, you have a very nice weather then when we have the winter. So yeah. <laughs> Can you give us a hint you, about the videos? Uh-oh. Uh, well, it's like the Arcade video was very special. Well, all the three videos we put out so far is very different from each other. And now it's coming back. The fourth one would be kind of simple, I would say, um, just to like put extra focus on the actual performance and the song itself. But then we have a, like a very... A song that people maybe wouldn't expect us doing a video for, but we, we did um, for the ones who've heard the album so far. <laughs> and I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's fun. It's like theater. It's really like, uh, you know, it was really like acting. And I can reveal that there has something to do with zombies. Oh, cool. That sounds interesting. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what can fans expect from your new album? Uh, they, I think they can, uh, I, I would say they can expect a lot of uh, like positive uh, energy, power, uh, also like a bit of a playfulness and uh, heaviness and uh, uplifting topics and yeah, um, all these kind of, I would say that we try to put in all kinds of different aspects of, of uh, from the emotional spectrum on this album uh, yeah I actually listened to your new album too it's actually really good I really like it oh awesome yeah. to hear thanks <laughs> it's alright <laughs> <laughs> and what was your writing and recording process for your new album uh, we started to write uh, already last year in uh, September and um, we tried to, to you know like always we discuss like what did we do on the last album what did we like about it what would we like to uh, renew for this upcoming sound? And 
yeah, like sound wise and also like the meaning of the album. Why do we make this album? Like we always want to find a reason for everything. And like the reason for this one would be to like, okay, let's establish the sound to like kind of be more clear about what is the core sound of Amaranth and also like what we stand for and what we want to represent uh, without and like being more personalized and not not too much, uh, um, what do you call it, like experimental. <laughs> uh, so it, we basically just went into ourselves and we just did like what we already started a little bit on the previous album um, to find the core and represent, like manifest actually. We wanted to manifest Amaranth as a band and musically. Nice. And then, of course, we went to Denmark to record, and that was a little bit chaotic because they were closing the borders, so we had to leave uh, from Sweden earlier to make sure that we could, you know, arrive in time before being in lockdown. So it was a very, very strange uh, situation, and it was me and Olaf at first. Martin already lives in Denmark, so he was, of course, not in so much danger, <laughs> but the rest of us was a little bit uncertain, so we had, like, a lot of plan Bs. Uh, but Johan recorded his bass in, in Finland because he he uh, he thought it was more safe, you know, to not be like locked out of, from his family for a long time and such things. Because you never know, you know, if the government would like kind of change their laws overnight and then you wouldn't be able to travel back home again. So me and Olaf, we were thinking, yeah, if we have to stay in Denmark for a year, it's we do it because we think the music is that important. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, but the, oh, everybody could come over, uh, everybody else yeah, except Johan. Uh, so, so Nils and Henry came and everything went kind of smooth. I mean, we weren't able to have any free time, like go to bars or restaurants and stuff. But yeah, it, and the process, it was like um, really fun with uh, Jacob Hansen. It was, of course, a lot of things to talk about also besides music because the situation in the world at the moment was very, yeah, very strange. And what was it working like working with Jake at Hansen? Oh, it's it's always great. We we done all our albums with him, so it's always like coming how we call him Bestefar, which is like a grandfather in English. <laughs> it, it feels like we're a little family, and yeah, he was around his thirties when we started to work uh, with him, and uh, we were around our twenties, and now we are like older and we're having. A lot of fun memories from previous recordings and it's always like super nice you know he's he knows exactly what kind of sound we want and we, it's so easy to discuss with him like different effects and uh, yeah like it's, it's it's always really really good to work with people you know well and um it was the same this time we had a we had a great time that's awesome. And you also worked with Nora from Battle Beast on your new song Strong. So how was that? Oh yeah, that was also it was very cool uh I think to bring in a, a second uh, clean female vocalist on one of our tracks. And this is something of course we never done except for the do or die with our uh, Angela Gossa, but she's doing the growl so and we were supposed to go on a US tour together with Battle Beast. So we would of course, you know, we plan to make a cool performance, like live with this song, with this track, strong. But uh, yeah, then the tour got cancelled. But we decided to release the single anyways. And uh, I mean, if it wasn't for, because of the Corona crisis, she would have um, probably. I mean, we would have loved to have her in the studio with us. Uh, but that wasn't possible. So that was probably the only like downside that we couldn't record together. <laughs> so we had to send tracks back and forth. But uh, I know I know her for a while now. Um, the band, uh, the boys in the band, loves her vo- vocals and like just as a one out of few women in the in the metal scene, she's uh, a really strong, tough, and independent, like really cool girl. I really like her on a personal level. She's from Finland. And we all know Finnish people are very special, and um, it was very fun for us to like not bring in somebody who uh, would have might been you know, more predictable, but uh, someone that we see a future together with. She's obviously from the new newer generation of female metal vocalists, so it was yeah. uh, kind of really cool. And they're a great band as well. 
Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Bell bitches. Bell, bell, badass. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll ask you our signature question. So if you could have any band perform one of your songs, which band would it be? Which song would it be? And would it be in your style or their style? Ooh. Oh, my God. Okay. I, I would say I thought about it lately because we did a cover for Sabaton. Yeah. Uh, so it would be awesome to hear Sabaton do a cover on one of our songs. And I would then say, for example, Drop Dead Cynical. And then I have to say as well that I we love Rammstein. And, uh, uh, yeah, we love Rammstein. So I would like just die to kind of have hear them do a cover of an Amaran song. That would be cool uh, to hear. I, yeah. And of course it would be their style then, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not sure which song, but... Uh, Basically any song, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if it happens, let us dream. know, though. We really want to hear it. Yeah. Please. <laughs> <Never stand. laughs> Please, do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. We have to send them, send them this interview. We'll be like, hey, we have a planned uh, collaboration with you guys. <laughs> maybe i should maybe i'll tag them and be like hey they want to do a collaboration with you and see if they respond yeah you never know this is the kind of fun things with the life i think there's yeah. like the most weird things can happen <laughs> <laughs> and for your song yeah. do or die you released it with angela i guess so and on the album, and then you also released it with Nelson Hendricks. So why did you release two versions? Because we wrote the song based on the idea that Anila had for a video. Uh, so it was more like of a concept. But um, and then uh, we just the boys loved the song, and they of course, you know, talked a lot about how it would sound like if they would have sang it and also the fans had a lot of you know um i could we could see that the fans were also thinking the same like what if uh, that would be henrik and what if how would Neil sound like you know and and it's kind of fun because you know from our perspective we uh we want we want to give the fans what they want i mean that's what we that's our one of the main goals for us and the inspirations so that kind of inspired us to make this version and also it kind of shows that the song and the meaning of the song is what is most important in the end um i mean the the message that we want to put out is obviously very clear and um yeah it can be both it can be anyone you know performing the song and also it's actually kind of nice because we cannot have anila on a tour of course so if we would if and when we are able to go out on tour again, I mean, they're going to have a number by themselves. And that's uh, something we really, really look forward to. So there is a lot of reasons for that. Nice. And also they said, like, we want to sing it. We want to do our version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what's your favorite memory watching someone else perform live? Can you tell us a story? Ooh. I mean, okay, I, I have to say now because it was kind of recently. It was the last tour we went on before the, the corona crisis hit and that was with Sabaton and Apocalyptica. And I love when this, the, the way so, so they did a collaboration where, where Apocalyptica went on stage and played cello to Sabaton songs. And that was like, I had to watch it every every night for a whole month because it was like the best thing ever i think that collaboration was so cool and also the song uh angels are calling my name i think it's called yeah the one that they released anyways on youtube not so long ago but uh, but, uh during the tour i think or before yeah uh, it was uh extremely amazing and um uh, yeah i i never forget that that's awesome and last question, is there anything else you would like to say to your fans? I love you guys. We think you're the best and amazing and fantastic in every way. And thanks for, you know, making this band um, able to exist. I mean, everything is thanks to the listeners. So 
we are forever, always and ever very grateful. And uh, yeah, we hope they're going to like the new album, as, of course, as well. Awesome. Um, thank you so much for this interview today. We really appreciate it. Oh, thanks. I really appreciate it. It was really nice to talk to you. Yeah, it was nice to talk to you.